Dear students, welcome back to Smart Biology Tricks. In this video, we are going to discuss about cancer biology. So first we will study what is mean by cancer biology. Cancer biology is the study of cancer cells. So cancer means what? The abnormal growth of the cells, uncontrolled growth of the cells we can say. Uh, the study like uh, how the cancer cells are organized, how it is forming and what are all the different treatments are available, what are all the genetic factors and uh, lifestyle factors that are involving in the formation of cancer cells are called as cancer biology. Tumors. Tumor is a other term of the cancer. It is also known as neoplasmas or abnormal growth of the cell. As I said, the cells are abnormally growing. So because of various factors that we will discuss one by one later. So those are called as tumors. So there are two types of tumors are available. One is benign tumor. Second one is malignant tumor. Benign tumor as the name is it is suggest it is non-cancerous and typically do not spread to the other part of the body. So benign tumors are uh, particularly present in one area it cannot be uh, spread to the other part so it is not that much uh, uh, problematic we can say but the malignant tumors are more cancerous and it have the potential to spread to the nearby tissues sometimes it can be uh, transferred to the distant organs also from one part of the body to the other distant organs that also will be uh, affected because of the inverting ability of the tumor cells. So that comes under malignant tumor. So the causes of the tumor if you ask there are different types of uh, factors that are available including genetic factor, environmental factor and lifestyle factors. These are all the common factors uh, though those are the reasons that one person can get the uh, any type of cancers in their body. So in this picture you can clearly see the different types of uh, tumor that we discussed in the previous slide. So first one is benign tumor, second one is malignant tumor. So benign tumor that are present in the particular area. So it will not harm other tissues in the body. So it will be present in the only particular area. So this is not a that much problematic type of tumor. Whereas the second one, malignant tumors are inverting ability. It can be spread from the one part of the area to the other part of this uh, area, body, right? So which means through the blood circulation or uh, uh, through some sending some signals from uh, one part of one cell to the another cell near neighboring cells. So through some signaling pathway or blood circulation, the cells are moving from one area to the another area. So wherever the cells are reaching, so in that place that uh, cancers are spreaded or cancer or tumor is spreading. So as, I, as we discussed, there are two types of tumor. First, uh, we'll discuss the characteristics of the benign tumor. So if you see the characteristics, benign tumors are very, very slow growing. So it cannot uh, emerge fastly. And also it is having well-defined boundaries. So within the boundaries only it will be there. So it cannot cross the boundaries. It is non-invasive. And also it generally do not metastatize. These are all the basic characteristics of benign tumors. So examples of benign tumors, if you see, those uh, uh, different types of examples are named based on the location uh, where uh, which tissue that gets the uh, benign tumor based on that the name of the disease also can be classified. So if you see adenomas those type of tumors are arising in the gladular tissues. So those th uh, type of benign tumors are called as adenomas and if it is uh, benign tumors are forming in the fibrous tissue it is called as fibromas and in case if it is forming in the fat cells that are energy storing tissue cells so those are called as lipomas so now we will discuss about the malignant tumor characteristics so malignant tumor characteristics are it these cells are rapidly growing it can be fastly uh, grow and uncontrolled growth we can see 
and also it is a invasive it which means it is spreading from the one part of the body to the another part very quickly and it also can metastatize to other organs through the blood or lymphatic vessels as i said it can be uh, using the blood circulation system to spread or invade the cancer uh, cells so here we can see the examples of the carcino uh, uh, malignant tumors so here also the major types are carcinomas that is arising from the epithelial tissues examples are breast cancer and uh, lung and colon cancers the second one is sarcomas that is arising in the connective tissue if the tumor is forming in the connective tissues so those are categorized under the name of sarcomas example bone muscle cartilage cancers and also leukemias and lymphomas these are forming in the blood forming cells so these are the different types of examples that, that is for the malignant tumors next we will discuss about the causes of the tumor so what are all the different factors that are involving in one person to acquire or to get the particular kind of condition which means it is a uncontrolled growth of the cells in their body so first reason is a genetic factor so the hereditary mutation so during the uh, transfer of genetic information from one generation to another generation some mutation will happen so those mutation can increase the risk of certain cancer for example uh, breast cancer related things so that is called as brca1 and brca2 mutations in the breast and ovarian cancers brca means breast cancer okay so these are formed because of the mutation what is mean by mutation mutation is a sudden change in the genetic material so we are receiving we are we are having the genetic material in our body which has come from the uh, 50 percentage from our father and 50 percentage from the mother so in case if there is any changes or mistaken mistakenly expressed sequences that are present in the, in our genome sequences that is causing the mutation because of the hereditary mutation the uh, person can get the cancer or tumor and somatic mutation somatic mutations are uh, that are occurred during the lifetime of the any individual so somatic cells are body cells uh, because of the exposure to some environmental factors uh, the, the genetic material present in the somatic cells can be uh, acquire some mutation so these mutation can lead to get a cancer or tumor to the one particular person so next one is environmental factors so environmental factors so if we expose our body to specific carcinogens say for example uh, the drinking water if it is a contaminated with any heavy metals or chemicals pollutants if, if it is present in the uh, consuming water or food material that can also might be a reason to uh, one person to get the cancer or tumor uh, say for example other things like tobacco consumption aspartos and uv radiations these are the things that are comes under the carcinogenic factors that influencing one person to acquire tumor second one is occupational hazards during the uh, uh, working area like people uh, some people will expose their body to carcinogens that also increase the risk of uh, getting specific cancers and next one is lifestyle factor under the lifestyle factor there are three things one is diet second one is physical activity and third one is tobacco or alcohol usage so in the diet if you see improper diet choices sometimes people will be consuming more amount of food that also like uh, high uh, calories of food or a nutritional high nutritional food consumption also may leads to one person to get a uh, to form or to acquire this kind of tumors or cancers or in case of if any person is getting uh, taking the low intake of uh, nutrition in their diet that also will lead to uh, get a cancer 
and physical activity lack of physical activity or lack of regular physical activity that also associated with the uh, increased risk of certain cancers and the consumption of tobacco uh, not only the consumption direct consumption but also the uh, passive smokers so people they will they don't have a habit of smoking but they might they might be classified under under the condition called as passive smokers they'll be inhaling the smoke that was released by the active smokers so anyway like people who are all consuming the tobacco or uh, alcohol they have a high chance of getting cancer and other kind of con uh, causes are uh, considered as viral and bacterial infections and also hormonal factors say for example during the lifetime if any individual if they exposed to any specific viruses say for example human papilloma virus hepatitis b and c viruses helicobacter pyroli so these kind of viruses virus infection that may have the chance of bringing cancer or tumor formation to the any healthy individuals and other things like hormonal factors the imbalanced expression of hormones very specific hormones such as estrogen and testosterone uh, those are directly linked with the formation of tumors coming to the molecular mechanism that is involved in the tumor formation first one is genetic mutation we already discussed about mutation mutation means study of uh, gene changes in the genetic material and also mutation is defined as sudden change in the genetic information that is called uh, mutation so first one is oncogenes if any mutation that happens in the oncogenes such as ras gene or myc that may activate the signaling pathways that drive the uncontrolled cell growth or division and tumor suppressor genes also if there is any mistake or uh, repair mechanism recombination or deletion uh, any kind of mutation that happens in the tumor suppressor gene that also will lead to uh, get one person one person to get a cancer or tumor condition so now we will discuss about how the normal cells are converted into cancer and what is the immune mechanism that our body uh, by birth itself it is having to overcome the cancer that we will discuss now so whenever the normal cell if you see here this is a normal cell when the normal cell that was expressing or that is subjected for the oxidative stress are exposed to the carcinogens or viruses that leads to the dna damage or epigenetic alterations so this brings particular uh, cell fate that mo modulation of the cell fate which means cell fate means it is a determined uh, specification of the cell say for example when the cell is being produced uh, in the body so the lifestyle or lifespan or the particular uh, upregulation, uh, the gene regulation that might be determined during the birth time of the cell itself, all the conditions will be determined. That is called as cell fate. Because of the specific changes that happens during the lifetime, the particular cell will uh, change its modulation of the cell fate. Because of that, it will be converted into cancer cells and it, it, it also influences the failure of dna repair mechanism so during the normal uh, cell condition whenever the cells are having particular small mutation kind of thing it might undergo certain dna repair mechanism and also it controls the cell cycle arrest and after the completion of successful dna repair the cell will go to the normal condition okay so in case if the cell is unable to uh, take the condition uh, to correct itself it will become cancer cell or sometimes the immune mechanism of the body what it, it will do it will enter it will take the cell into the apoptosis condition so which means cell death so when whichever the cells are converted in the form of cancer that will be 
killed by the our own body mechanism which is called as immune mechanism like apoptosis other kind of reasons that is chromosomal aberrations so under chromosomal aberrations there are various types of reasons that are listed here under to uh, convert one normal uh, gen genetic material into mutated one so first one is translocation second one is deletion and amplification so you can see in this picture uh, this is the picture presentation for the deletion so during the course of dna duplication or cell cycle cellular division a specific part of the genome in the genetic material will be deleted so there might be some chance some uh, reason behind this for the deletion of specific sequences uh, by accidentally it might be happen during the uh, chromosomal segregation it might be happen accidentally because of that the resultant uh, cell will receive the some of the portions without some of the portions genetic uh, material portions it will be receiving so because of this also one particular cell will convert itself into the cancerous cell the second one is duplication a specific part of the gene will be duplicated one more time so because of the uh, duplicating genome this also leads to the uh, cell to enter into a cancerous form third one is inversion type of uh, chromosomal aberration inversion means a specific gene locations will be invertedly expressed in the daughter cells so this also could be the reason the cell will enter into the cancerous condition the final one is translocation a specific part of the chromosome will be detached from the uh, one's chromosome and then it will be connected with the homologous chromosome so the resultant cell will enter into the cancerous condition and epigenetic alterations also kind of a reason the cell will get the cancerous condition so first one is dna methylation so hyper methylation of the chromosomes that also lead to silencing the tumor suppressor genes so this is also kind of a reason one cell will uh, convert it into a tumorous tumor uh, cell say for example cpg uh, locations will be hypermethylated because of this hypermethylation in the cpg location this tumor suppressor genes will be silenced so what is the major action of tumor suppressor gene is to uh, si to make the uh, cell in a correct way like if there is any mutation happens that genes will be turned off because of the tumor suppressor genes if the tumor suppressor gene itself it is silenced means the cell will cannot correct itself so the cell will enter into the cancerous condition and histone modification some changes in the histone acetylation methylation phosphorylation that also affect the chromatin structure and gene expression so this also leads to cell convert itself into a cancerous cell so in this picture you can see the normal cell if it is uh, not properly regulated by dna methylation histone modification and non coding rna it it will automatically convert it into a cancerous cell so cancerous cell is nothing it is a uncontrolled growth of the cell it will keep on dividing it will never go to the decline stage so that is called uncontrolled growth of the cell more number of cells will be uh, produced in the particular area so that is called cancer and certain cell cycle dysregulation normally during the cell cycle there are specific proteins that will be produced that will regulate the cell cycle those are called as cyclin and cyclin dependent kinase enzymes so these proteins are enzymes if any mutation happens in these proteins that also result in the failure of control of the cell cycle that leads a cell to enter into a cancerous form and next one is p53 pathway the loss of p53 function that also allows the cell with the damaged dna to bypass the cell cycle and checkpoints and promotes the genomic instability
if p53 pathway is not properly maintained in the cell the cell will enter into the cancerous cell cycle you can refer the cell cycle here so if you see uh, in cell cycle there are different stages will be there g0 phase g1 phase s phase and g2 phase and mitosis phase g0 phase is a resting phase and uh, g1 is a uh, actual cell division starting phase the necessary enzymes that are required for the dna duplication will be produced here so that will be assessed by certain cyclin cyclin enzymes cyclin d and cdk4 and 6 so these are called as cyclin dependent kinase uh, enzymes or checkpoints we can call it as so similarly in all the stages different types of cyclins and cdk and cdc will be involved as a checkpoints to check the proper uh, production or uh, the correction like if there is any repair mistake happens in the genetic material duplication recombination everything will be assessed if there is anything malfunction happens if the cyclin protein if it is not working properly then it will lead the cell to the to enter into the cancerous cell condition and the over expression of bcl2 family so this is the final thing so the apoptosis resistance what is meant by apopt apopto apoptosis apoptosis is a kind of cell death so the death time of the cell will be uh, already determined when the cell is birth okay but the apoptosis will be overcome because of the hyper regulation of bcl2 family proteins so you can see here the over expression of anti -apopto apoptotic proteins like bcl2 can prevent cells from undergoing apoptosis even in the presence of cellular damage and contributing to survival of the abnormal cells so the uh, bcl2 protein unable to perform because of the uh, apoptosis resistance so you can refer the different types of apoptosis pathway here so this is a receptor mediated pathway and mitochondrial mediated pathway and final one is angiogenesis these are all the different uh, terms that we have to study under the topic molecular mechanisms involved in the tumor formation okay so vgf signaling so this kind of signaling is called as vascular endothelial growth factor right so tumor cells every tumor cells will re release this kind of vegf factor so that will promote the formation of new blood vessels that is called as angiogenesis just highlight this term just uh, uh, keep it in mind that the term called as angiogenesis means formation of the new blood vessels so this will be promoted by certain growth factor that is released by the tumor cells what is the growth factor vascular endothelial growth factor shortly abbreviated as vegf so these uh, formation of new blood vessels that supplies nutrients and oxygen to the growing tumor cells mass of tumor cells will be grown additionally that will be grown in our body so to supply nutrients and oxygen to those newly forming cells the cancer cells will form new blood vessels those are called as angiogenesis that process of new blood vessel formation is called as angiogenesis you can see the differences here uh, these are the tumor cells that are uh, present in the particular location of the body so these are releasing the signals that is called as vgf factor so these factors that forms the new blood vessels in this second picture you can see vasculogenesis the new blood vessel formation that takes the oxygen and nutrients along with the blood circulation to the newly formed cancer cells so this is called as angiogenesis so these are all the things that we have to write uh, for the question called molecular mechanism that is involved in the tumor formation okay so hope you have understood the topic you have to read all the contents that i have highlighted here so that is very very important to understand the mechanism that is involved in the tumor formation finally you have to study about the immune system evasion 
that was controlled or regulated by two different pathways that is PD-1 and PDL one and also CTLA-4 pathway. So the inhibition of these pathway checkpoints that uh, uh, controls the immune cells uh, of the body. So the tumor cells will be freely growing. If the immune cell, immune system of the body, if they are arrested, then the tumor cells will not be under control, right? So thank you.